Hey, yo, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and of course, as always, the top is the commodities out there. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys, the rest of the intros and outros on the channel. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, all the good shits. And yeah, a little bit of a change of pace. I know I haven't done it like this in a month. The last time I did a video like this was Ready Player One earlier this month. It's probably going to be either the end of this month, April or May, by the time I do this again. You can tell I got my old school set up here, and you can still see my old camera here. It's the one I normally do videos on article session reviews and anime news. It's usually this one, Logitech 720p. You know, it always like skips a lot when I do face cam in it, but when I don't do face cam in it, it goes performs better. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's only good for microphone usage. I don't know. I'm not using my news report thing because it's hot as balls on this freaking thing. But the reason I'm talking about it here now, because they only do this for super important ass news, and this is some Sega news. You know, granted, Nintendo and Sega, along with Sony, were always my three favorite old school stuff. Um, video game consoles growing up. The old school PS1 was, anyways, and PS2. I still have PS4 and PS4 Pro, which I do have, but uh, I still like to play my Wii and Wii U occasionally sometimes. I don't have Nintendo Switch, but I will be getting it soon, eventually, one of these days. Whenever I get my bonus check this summer, I'll see if I could try and get it. Maybe. Anyways, yeah, this is some Sonic Mania Plus stuff. This actually came out from Game Informer yesterday. This is the 26th today. I don't know if it's going to come out the 27th, Friday or Saturday. I might upload this, or maybe next week when it's almost May. We'll see what happens. But shout out to the person named Jeff Cork. And uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of old, really classic stuff from Sonic back in the day. Links in the description box down below if you want to check out some of those pictures. I'll try to give as many shouts as I can, like maybe at the end of the video when I do like the fan art stuff that made um, Raid, Raid the Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo. Which I remember Mighty a little bit more than Ray, but Ray was pretty much the old school beta version, I think, Tails, because he has the same flying ability, except he doesn't spin his tail around. He just, he goes up and down and side to side with it, which is really, really weird. <laughs> and then Mighty, he kind of does the same thing Knuckles does. He glides, but he still has his powerful strength and punch to crush boulders and rocks and steel pipes and everything it's crazy and walls and he could climb too like knuckles he's pretty much like the older beta version of the early mid 90s version of that many people remember archie comics if mostly some of my subscribers maybe most of you guys will if you grew up in the late 80s early 90s you probably remember the archie ball comics i remember it because i used to watch them a lot and read them a lot as a 90s kid classic comics you know a lot of you millennials out there and linkster generation probably have no idea what comics are it was this physical paper thing that I used to use like this. You know, pretty much that's what a comic book was. Even the old school Batman, Superman, Green Lancer and shit. That's what comics were. But this was for Sonic version of that. Fortunately, they died out in 2016. I think they ran out of business two years ago. So rest in peace to that. Rip. Even though I'm not Catholic. <laughs> but yeah, um, links down below to the video as well. I'll, I'll play a little bit of it at the end. So it says Sonic Mania Plus. And shout out to Jeff Cork again because this is some real important take of news. Both of these characters, they get enough hypeness and enough popularity and fame, big enough as they already are, even though this came out earlier this month in April, I think it was the 9th or 10th of April. Um, hey, who knows? They might be in the next Smash Bros. Switch game if they get enough relativity hype, enough highness and a high enough demand to get pushed for Ray the Armadillo and the Ray the Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo. I keep mixing them up. Then they might be in the next new Smash. Who knows? That would be pretty kick ass. I still want Knuckles and Shadow to be in it instead. That'll be a lot better. So it says Sonic Mania Plus was unveiled back in March with a vague summer release window. Today, Sega has gotten specifics saying with when the July players will be able to pick up this physical release. The game is coming soon to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. I thought that wasn't until like Oh, no, I'm thinking about Spyro Reignited when that ends up coming out next year, probably, for the Switch. Fingers crossed that shit happens. I know it's going to be off for the PS4 Pro, obviously. Yeah, highlights of the enhanced edition of an already excellent game included two new playable characters, Mighty and Ray, as well as an expanded four-player component for a new Encore, excuse me, Encore mode. Check out the trailer down below for the glimpse of the sign in the trailer and... Email author Jeff Cork. Shout out to Jeff Cork. He's got his Twitter, Facebook, and Facebook and um, YouTube and Google and all that shit down there. So yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to read the title. My bad. Sonic Mania Plus brings new characters in the game this July of the summer season. That's what it was. 
Shout out to Game Informer. I really don't get that much news from Game Informer. I, I remember back in the days, in mid late 2000s, my junior, senior, way back in high school, like I used to get like this monthly subscription notice from them. It was really fun ass times, not gonna lie. It's when physical media was a lot more high in demand back in the mid late 2000s, but it is what it is. Overall thoughts, use an opinion though. My God. <laughs> if any of you guys remember any of these old school characters like Fang, I forgot what his name, something Fang the Shark. And somewhere down here, I'm watching some of the old school. Fang the Sniper. Any people remember this bad boy right here? Him. Or if you remember these other guys. I'm going to show you a couple of them. This other dude, Razor the Shark. Oh my god, I remember him. And even the Matilda, the girl version of the Armadillo. I think that was supposed to be Mighty the Armadillo's sister or something. Because I know there were female versions of Knuckles, like the Tikal girl. Tikal? Tikal? I forgot how you ever say that name. She was supposed to be the original old school island guardian chick for... The Master Emerald, the green giant one. If any people remember watching Sonic X back in the days, that's what that was all about. Yeah, this is this guy right here. Any people remember him? The polar bear dude, the grizzly bear guy. Oh yeah, Bark the Polar. You remember this guy right here? That was some classic shit back in the day, my friend. Beautiful last times to be a 90s kid at that time. Granted, I was like eight, nine years old at the time, maybe seven. I think it was 1995 or 96, the first ones that I read. And the first ones came back when I was still a baby. I think I was like three or four years old, 1992 or 93. So can't remember that far back, unfortunately. Gina, the Gina, Giant, the Tiger. Oh my God, I remember all these people. <laughs> Man, look at all these classic old school characters. You don't see that shit anymore in modern day Sonic. That was some really good ass stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Spike the Porcupine. Oh man, nostalgic. I'm getting nostalgic tears right now, mentally, not physically, but. They bring those characters back for the Sound of Mania Plus, I will lose my shit in a very, very positively fanboyish way. And especially if they ever bring the Smash. I highly doubt they're going to bring those old school Archie comic characters because they belong to Sega. They're under the distribution, they're under the corporation, and they're under that whole like joint custody service of um, Sega. So I don't know if Sega would ever let Nintendo borrow them. But then again, Sega and Nintendo always had good relationships when they let them borrow Sonic and Tails. So why not let them borrow like the rest of the Archie comic characters? I'm not sure. I really, really hope that does happen because this is some important ass news that comes from Sega. And it's a very important ass time to be an old school Sega fan. Or new school. My younger generation millennial kids out there, you probably don't even know what the old school Archie Ball comics were unless you go on Google and find out what it is or go on Wikipedia. And then they'll probably explain to you a lot more deeper and detailed information way more than I can do it because, you know, it's a supercomputer. Oh, yeah, I remember Sonic Forces. Of course, everyone remembers that. That was last year. <laughs> Ray the Flying Squirrel. That's what his name was, Ray the Flying Squirrel. He's the one that's supposed to be the beta version of, like, what Tails was, I'm pretty sure. And I guess I could play the trailer a little bit. Hopefully, I don't get no copyright strikes or any of this. But my God, this shit was so bomb back in the day, man. <laughs> it even has this. And Sega proudly presents... Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. You guys are watching it with me. You know what I'm talking about. If it plays it. Oh, man. That was the shit. I'll leave the link to the trailer down below unless you guys want to see it right here. That was the jam. Look, he went from old school to new school. That is the ish. That's what they need to bring. Even though, like, GameSpot, they even said it, they gave it a 5 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. I don't know. Either way, it's really, really cool as hell. Brand new 2D adventure. That is so freaking sexy. My god. I'll leave the rest of the link down below. That thing was just beautiful. I'm going to skip to the part where they show, um, what was it called? When they show, like, the old school thing. Ah, oh, man. When they bring out the comic characters and the 2D concept art and they bring it to reality. Check this shit out. This is beautiful, man. I like that. That put a smile on my face here. <laughs> and he just gets crushed by the two new characters. <laughs> That's the jam right there. I'm telling you, Sega's, they still got a couple of heavy hitters up their sleeves. If they bring the Dreamweavers back from Sega, that will be the absolute jam, my friends. Capital J-A-M. It'll be beautiful. That'll be slamming as hell, man. Seriously. Other than that, that's all I gotta say for now. Shout out to Game Inform for bringing up this article or whatever. I think they're on their YouTube channel, too, so I'll leave the link to their official YouTube account down below. And that's it. And it's got that late 90s, early 2000s Macintosh old school Apple thing. Ding. If any people remember that, that was the jam. 
And uh, yeah, that's it. And shout out to the people that made all the fan art concepts and everything from Google and I think Pinterest and other places like Tumblr and like DeviantArt, all the other typical suspects that are usually really, really big when it comes to Sonic fan services, even though a lot of it unfortunately is cringy as hell, but not all of it is. Now, if they bring that, the polar bear, and then that other dude, oh, that's going to be absolutely heaven sent for me. Give a blessing to freaking chat. Like they say on Twitch. <laughs> give you ones and twos in the chat, or the good, big, bitty goodies, or whatever they call it. I don't really give a shit about Twitch too much. I only watch it once in a while, mainly for E3, because I know it's coming out in two more months when July hits around. I'm definitely going to try to cover as much news concept as I can. And that's it. As far as everything else goes, I apologize this week. I think Monday or Tuesday, I'm probably going to be a week off of YouTube. So um, hopefully you guys stick around and take a little bit of a mini vacation because um, some family members are going to be coming by from the East Coast in upstate New York, which I can't say when. But yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit silent for a little bit. But I will be back in like maybe the second or third week of May. So I'm not quitting or nothing. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. And that's it. Shout out to all the Sonic fans and Sonic Mania fans. Because that is an absolute jam. Shout out to Chris Whitehead for even coming out with that original concept. And the original music. My god, the music in that is so damn nerdgasmic. I love it. It's beautiful. It's perfection to the T, my friends. That's it. And that's it. I finish here. Links to Squishbox box down below. Cartel on the side. I was going to do a chat and breeze with this um, smartphone thing. But I decided not to because it was like almost 100 degrees out there. So yeah, it is what it is. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen. Bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And of course, as always... Well, tacos and Nikki is out there. We'll see when I see you guys. A good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink some more at the same time. Don't think they're reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out, ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Random videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay, 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 stay. Hell, the bees with yourself. Peace out, my sauerkraut. I'm gonna get a lot of here. Stay tuned. More future content. Channel. Stay tuned. More updates. Stay tuned. More future article session reviews. And of course, chat and breeze videos that I do in this channel. And yeah, take it easy. Peace out. Deuces. I'm gone. See you guys on the flip side. I'm out of here. Stay safe. Lates and goodbye. And shout out to the Sonic fans. You guys are amazing. Especially when you guys do modifications like Gary's mom and all that stuff. If that's even a thing anymore. Do more of it. Goodbye.